Well, welcome back to Pioneer Human Services Change Maker Luncheon Series, which is all about raising critical funds for stable housing and employment for individuals working to rebuild their lives in our communities. And those that we serve at Pioneer have been disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. And you absolutely can make a difference today. So thank you for being here. My name is Angela Poe Russell, and I'm the co-host of Evening on King 5. And this is my sixth year emceeing the event, although first time virtually. And I just believe deeply in the work that Pioneer is doing, giving people the tools, the knowledge, um, the resources to be able to make the change that many of them really want to make. Now this three-part series includes this exciting live stream event on September 24th, it's at noon. And today you're gonna to hear about the life-changing skills that former Pioneer clients, Derek and Marquita, learned at Pioneer. Now if you missed last week's introduction of Derek and Marquita, you can actually hear that by just clicking on the link, which should be below me, so definitely check that out. Pioneer partners with many businesses in our community, so we just wanna take a moment to thank them, to thank our sponsors for helping us do what we do. But first, let's hear more from Pioneer CEO, Karen Lee. Thank you, Angela. We really appreciate your support and involvement. Thank you to the viewers for joining us and thanks also to our sponsors and supporters. We couldn't do it without you. I am Karen Lee, CEO of Pioneer. I believe in Pioneer's mission simply because I believe in people. I believe in hope that people deserve second chances and that when they are done with their sentence, they are done with their sentence and should be welcomed back into society and be able to live a healthy and productive life. Pioneer is a nonprofit social enterprise that is located in the state of Washington. We are focused on people with legal system involvement. We serve our clients through treatment, housing, job skills training, and employment. We use a targeted and holistic approach that is specifically designed to address the full spectrum of rehabilitation and that is based on the needs and strengths of every individual that we serve. In terms of treatment, we offer a continuum of residential and outpatient treatment services for people with substance use disorders mental health needs, and co-occurring conditions. We offer safe, stable, and affordable housing options for people who have been discriminated against because of their conviction history. Our job readiness training programs help students overcome barriers to employment through skill building, like soft skills development, conflict resolution, time management, and computer skills. As a nonprofit social enterprise, Pioneer also operates multiple business lines that provide on the job training, full time employment, and living wage jobs. Two thirds of our enterprise workforce has a conviction history or is in recovery. Our programs produce outstanding results. Less than 5% of our job training program graduates go back to jail. Our jail diversion programs, they result in significantly more people getting into treatment and housing, and they stay out of jail. Our housing residents consistently report increased well being and happier lives. Pioneer services truly make a difference in people's lives, and we couldn't do our work without the support of the greater community. Thank you. Next, enjoy the animated video to learn more about the depth and breadth of Pioneer Services. Pioneer Human Services is a nonprofit social enterprise that serves people who have been involved with the criminal legal system who are in need of treatment, housing, job skills training, and employment in Washington State. Since every person we serve has unique needs based on their individual experiences, our customized service areas are designed to meet everyone where they're at. Formerly incarcerated people are almost 10 times more likely to be homeless than the general public, and they face widespread discrimination in securing safe, stable housing. Over half of people arrested multiple times report having a substance use disorder, and people with multiple arrests are three times as likely to have a serious mental illness. Shockingly, 
Most people who need treatment do not receive it while they are incarcerated. Employment is also exceptionally hard when one has been justice involved. Even during times of record low unemployment, people with conviction histories have a staggering unemployment rate of 27%. When formerly incarcerated people do land jobs, they're commonly insecure and low paying positions. In fact, in the first year after release, the median earnings of those previously incarcerated is just above $10,000 a year. At Pioneer, we work to break down these barriers to treatment, housing, and employment so the people we serve truly have an opportunity to lead healthy, productive lives in the community. Pioneer owns and operates 18 affordable housing complexes and provides over 630 units of housing. Knowing that many people get involved with the legal system due to issues with substance use disorders and untreated mental health issues, Pioneer breaks the cycle of incarceration for these people by providing inpatient, outpatient, and diversion programs which treat these issues rather than criminalize them. Our Roadmap to Success Job Readiness Programs help people overcome employment barriers to find and retain jobs. We also offer direct employment opportunities in our aerospace manufacturing plants that provide a livable wage with many pathways to education and advancement. At Pioneer, we are committed to providing hope and opportunity while also providing the skills and tools our clients need to not just survive, but thrive. Here is part two of Derek and Marquita's stories. Two amazing people who have benefited from Pioneer Services and employment. Enjoy. I was homeless for a while in the grip of my drug addiction. Uh, once I got to a point to where I started using heroin, I, I just went to the streets for about a year and a half. I don't even have a desire to go get a job at this point. You know, but it's, it was almost like I just didn't care anymore. And that's what that drug did to me. Either way, it was enough to scare me into saying, I need some help. I remember my my oldest son telling me that his dad told him that um, don't get used to your mom being here because she's going to go back out to the streets. And I guess that was enough to wake me up. So to get clean, they set me up through Valley Medical. Eventually I got clean and I've been clean ever since. I was so sick of living that life and I just couldn't look at myself in the mirror, you know. I knew I was done. I know I have it in me to, to build a good life for myself. I believe that about myself. And, but I didn't, know how to, I didn't know how to do it. And so I entered into drug court and I, I went wholeheartedly into that. I said I was done using drugs and, I, and alcohol and I literally was. So while sitting in King County, a lady approached me, realized we, relatives of ours that went to school together and so we got to talking and I got to telling her that, um, you know, I was ready to clean my act up, but you know, who's gonna hire somebody with a criminal history? And so she told me about Pioneer Industries and so in May, when I got out of jail, I came down to Pioneer Industries, and a couple of months later, I was hired. I'd heard when I was in camp that Pioneer had a machine shop, and I was like, that's where I'm going. I just started randomly calling Pioneer, and I filled out my application. I went down to WorkSource, and I, I think I called three times a day, every single day. And I mean, I was just so ambitious because I just knew that this is where I needed to be. With my history uh, as a machinist, I got hired in at a good wage. A year after working at Pioneer, I was able to get myself an apartment and I paid my rent on time, I paid all my bills, and eventually, a year after that, I was able to buy a condo. That was the highlight of my life. You know, it was the first thing that, first big thing that I'd ever bought and, and it was mine. You know, so I get into my transitional house. I'd applied for an apartment at the Lobdell, another pioneer owned property. I'm working the steps, I'm active in my kid's life, and I'm actually doing things to better my life, you know. I was so grateful. You know, this was my own apartment. The first time in my life that I just went on my own and got something, you know, by myself. I never understood how important that was until it happened, you know, because that key thing is gonna save me here in the future as well. I think I see a pattern here, like I, I made this commitment and I'm, I made a right choice and I'm getting these blessings, you know, to, to build a life for myself. Pioneer, for me, was like my second family. These people, nobody judged you. They didn't care that you had a, a criminal history. We all were the same. I mean, I know all of us didn't have a criminal background, but it didn't make a difference. Nobody judged anybody. I, I 
I felt very comfortable here. And these guys would, you know, lift me up and make me feel better. And um, I don't know what I would do without them. I was so happy to just be employed and have a purpose and, and be back to my trade. And I just lived here as much as I could, as, as often as they'd let me out of work release, I was here. <laughs> Little did I know that when I started here, the people that I were gonna meet were gonna change my life. Oh, that's such a great story. Derek and Marquita, I'm so glad that you found Pioneer. And to everyone else watching, just. I hope that you feel inspired by their stories and inspired by the work that Pioneer is doing every day in this community. I wanna let you know how you can give because again, the goal is to raise $225,000 to support the programs and the clients. All you have to do is go to pioneerhumanservices.org. That's pioneerhumanservices.org and click the donate button. You can also just use your phone, send a text message. You text the word Pioneer to 345 Three four five. That's Pioneer to three four five three four five. And get this: through September twenty fifth, if you give more than five hundred dollars, then you are entered to win two tickets anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. So that's again donations above five hundred dollars. So we hope you can do that. Again, our live stream event is next Thursday. Yeah, September twenty fourth at noon it's just 30 minutes long it's going to be this great just live virtual event we have a wonderful speaker um, the speaker's name is adam foss he's the ceo of prosecutor impact and a criminal justice reform advocate so it's going to be great hearing from him and you'll also see the final video in our three-part series and you'll learn about derek and marquita's lives right now join our community of supporters making a difference september 24th at noon we'll see you then